and our Canadian payload specialist, Roberta Bonder. She'll be the only female on board this morning. For more than a decade, Roberta led a team of researchers at NASA examining data from astronauts on space missions, with the goal to better understand the body's ability to recover from exposure to space. Bondar shifted to consulting and public speaking in the fields of business, science and medicine. I was born and I grew up in, a, in an age before Sputnik got into space, and that was the first satellite. We've come a long way in terms of communication systems, uh, remote sensing, looking at our planet, and we just keep making more headway. One of the issues, of course, that faces all of us is how much stuff we're putting up there and how we are able to deal with the amount of, of material that's in space in the long run. But I think that in the future, we're going to start seeing some very smart uses of technology that way to try to make things more environmentally friendly. Having satellites up in space can give us the bird's eye view on many different levels. Of course, communication satellites are, are valuable no matter what field of science or research a person's in. We all want instant communication, especially in times of natural disasters. Satellites go places where human beings don't go at the moment because a lot of satellites go above the radiation protection that we have around our own planet. Some are below it but a lot are way above it so that they have a better view of our planet. And we really, as human beings, are not quite ready to take that great leap that people would like to take to Mars. I think far better we go to the moon first. And certainly there are satellites even around the moon that we launched from Earth to look at the terrain of the moon, to look at the natural resources there, to see where we might land again. According to Bondar, we as humans are high maintenance as a life form to go into space. I think that in the future we're going to see a good combination of the use of satellites, robotic systems, and hopefully some human activity in space. But I think it will be a while before we sort out some of the, the problems that human beings face in space. What an experience to make a link beyond our planet. When I watch any kind of launch, whether it's on video, it's on the television, on the computer, I just find it absolutely amazing the kinds of systems that we're developing. I mean, there's a new rocket now being developed by a, a company in the States that is taking off vertically and it hovers and it comes back down and lands because they want to get rid of the non-reusable rockets to save money for launches. So we're going to see communication satellites and perhaps the, the next satellite that, uh, that Shaw is going to put up in space may be one of these kinds of vehicles. And it's very exciting. One of the things that is most memorable to me, of course, is looking at the Earth in space and seeing the reality of the Earth as a planet. It's, it's not something that's easily shared uh, with another person. I can show pictures and I can be passionate about the description, but you have to be there in real time to see this person that we call our planet.